Hello and welcome. My name is Tom and today we'll be looking at the steeple analysis in the unit 1.5 in business management IB. So what actually is a steeple analysis? A steeple analysis examines the external environments of a business and its influences on the business. So the influences of, it, of the external environment to the business. And uh, this tool, this steeple analysis, helps managers and directors to be more prepared and informed and also allows them to be more proactive and comprehensive in their analysis of opportunities and threats for the business. If you remember, opportunities and threats are, um, they are the, in the SWOT analysis, there's strength, weakness, which is which are the internal factors of the business and opportunities and threats are the external factors of a business. Also, all steeple factors may provide the business with an opportunity or a threat, like I just said before. So the first letter is social and social pretty much means the, the demographic changes. Um, for example, an increase in the retirement age might be an or probably is an opportunity for healthcare companies but also social includes the changes in fashion of a population for example men are carrying more handbags nowadays now i don't know if that's true or not that's just an example and this might bring up an opportunity an excellent opportunity for clothing brands that already have man handbags also, trends in the broader population are included in this social factor. For example, the increasing movement of young workers to cities away from rural areas, which might be an opportunity for businesses that mainly operate uh, in a city or businesses that mainly sell their goods in stores in the city. The next one is technological, and as the name already says, it's basically about the introduction of high-tech machinery and processes into, into society and its impact on businesses. Um, for example, use of internet technology and mobile devices provides an opportunity for all e-commerce businesses, but also for businesses that just happen to have an e-commerce site open. Um, also, the advancement, advancement and innovation of industrial technologies and automation um, could improve, uh, or that actually improve efficiency in operations. Um, may be an opportunity for some manufacturing businesses, as they can now be more efficient and uh, maybe have a greater return on equity uh, on investment. Also, the ability to communicate with customers all around the world due to new technology may be actually a threat for businesses as, uh, as the whole competition rises, if you think about it. If there's a local store and they're selling you goods and now there's this whole, this whole other side, this whole other e-commerce um, side of things, where you also have the opportunity as a cons customer to buy these goods. That poses a added competition for this local, um, local business. Next factor is the economic factor, and it talks about the changes in the economic environment, which impacts organizations and their objectives and strategies. For example, low consumer confidence may be a negative or a threat for a business that's, that just plans to release a new product because now they're probably not going to have as many sales as before. Also, um, currency. When the currency appreciates in the country, this may lead to a reduced competitiveness of an export business in that, in that specific country because now they have higher prices for their goods. Uh, the customers in other countries have pretty much to pay a higher price now um, for, for their goods, which makes them less competitive. Also, increased interest rates will make borrowing for businesses 
less attractive, which in turn discourages investment expenditure. And that's also something to take in when uh, anal analyzing the external factors. Now, environmental. Environmental talks about or refers to the influences on the business from the surrounding physical environment. This can be um, really obvious, such as uh, weather and climate changes. Um, I mean, nowadays we can definitely feel or there are a lot of studies about the global warming. It's a big topic, especially in the IB, and uh, it can cause a threat, for example, a business that owns a skiing site where now each year there are less and less days where there's actually snow on the mountain and they have to use more and more snow machines which may make make it more expensive and may um, make their margins smaller which is of course a threat for them also firms have to consider the ecological footprint which might be a threat to some organizations such as car manufacturers if you maybe remember um there was this uh there are car manufacturers such as volkswagen who who had to cut um footprint a lot in the late 2000s because they had to meet these um, these these ecological footprints uh, um, demands Next factor will be the political one, and uh, it's the nature and stability of the government and its policies towards, bis towards business in general, trade, and private ownership of assets. So private ownership of assets, it, it's, you know, it goes into that direction of is it a more um, communistic state or capitalistic state and so on, capitalist state my bad so for example regional conflicts which ultimately leads to political instability can be a threat to to every business because if the po poli like if the politics change all the time the, p the business won't be able to really plan ahead for their operations and for their products and so on also laws such as bans and censorships of certain services or goods may be a threat to business operations. For example, the increased ban on, on gambling, for example, in Korea, where they actually banned um, big gambling organizations um, or most gambling games may be a huge threat to some of these organizations. Or also another example would be quotas on the number of imported products. Um, but this in turn may be actually an opportunity for local businesses. Because if you think about it, quotas on the number of imported products, that means that there's a maximum amount of imp imported products, uh, a maximum number of products that are being able to, to being imported, which makes it less competitive for a local business because they can just sell their goods um, like they want. They don't have to worry about these quotas and they have less competitive goods on the market. Now, legal, um, legal talks about the standards, about the legal standards that affect the business. So that's pretty straightforward. For example, the constraints of employment laws, such as national minimum wage and health and safety regulations. Uh, regulations. And this, um, if you think about it, will ultimately rise costs. Now, this is a huge spelling mistake. I'm sorry for that. Um, never mind that, just <laughs> allowed. Okay, the next example would be smoking bans in restaurants and malls. Um, this can also have an impact on organizations that, for example, sell tobacco or sell cigarettes, um, but also um, restaurants that um, had a had a huge customer base which were there to to enjoy um, smoking a cigar may now lose these customers which um, can also be a threat to the business the last one is 
the ethical factor, and it's the differences in national values and attitudes that are being held by the majority of the population of that country, that is. For example, um, what is right or, or morally cor correct may or actually will have an effect on a business if they operate in or if they sell a service that is not deemed morally correct by the majority um, of the of the country's population, this might have a negative effect on the on the sales of the business and um, of, of the perception of the business too. Also, businesses usually need to consider their impact on the environment and broader society. This is also comes into ethical, um, it's also an external factor because it comes from the outside, it doesn't, it's not internally. They have to think about the, the, the broader society and so on. Um, so this is just a point to consider. Um, usually businesses choose to adopt environmental practices because they want to meet their CSR. And if you remember CSR, I made a previous video, video it's corporate social responsibility. And um, if you want to learn more about it, then please watch my video. It's not too long. And CSR is um, pretty simple if you look at it, if you take your time and look at it once. So thanks, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.